What's up guys? All right, so today we're gonna be replacing a igniter uh, on an old, older ream furnace, but this is pretty much uh, the same case for just about every furnace. Uh, this is gonna be one of the Glowfly igniters. Um, so let's get started and I'll uh, show you how to do it. All right, so this is our old igniter right here. And the first thing you'll do is take off this bracket. So these two, uh, two screws right there, quarter inch. All right, I'm gonna swing this out. After you've got the igniter out, you'll this wire won't be like this. You won't have these wire nuts here if it's uh, original to the furnace. It'll be just this type of wire here all the way to a plug. So you'll unplug it and then you can get it out. Um, and so the next thing you'll do is you'll take this screw off right here and that'll release this igniter from this bracket. Once you've taken the screw loose, it'll come into two pieces the front and the back. All right, and your new glow flight knotter <clears throat> should look pretty much the exact same. And you want to be really careful with this new one. They're super fragile. Just barely hitting it up against metal can damage it. So I'm going to get this bracket put back on. And it's the exact same way as this old one went. So it'll be like this. And then your front piece is going to go on here. Be real careful not to hit this up against anything. like that then you want to put your screw back through it once you got it in place then you can just tighten it down before you completely tighten it and get it all straightened up You'll see your new igniter just has two stripped wires right here, which is fine like it is. But then your old igniter, it won't have these wire nuts, so you'll just cut these this wire um, away from your old igniter. Once you've done that, you can strip back a little bit more. Um, so you, it'll look like this away from your plug. So you, all you're doing is cutting this cord in half from the igniter to this plug, keeping this plug and then you're going to wire nut this back onto your new igniter. And you want to be really careful getting this back in here. Like super careful because it will break. So we got the new one set in there. Put this other screw in. All right, so in this kit should a, should come with two of these ceramic wire nuts. All right. So you'll get this, your end of your new igniter, and then you're going to wire nut your old plug back onto it. All right. Now after you got that wired wire nutted in, you're going to plug it in back to your plug over there. All right, we got that plugged in. You want to get your extra wire, if you have any, and get it out of the way somewhere. And you could even zip tie it just to make sure, but that'll be good right there. You can cut back extra, or cut back all the extra and uh, make it real uh, tight in there, but that'll be fine. All right, so we got our new igniter in place, and we're ready to kick it on.
right guys so that's all that's all there is really to uh to igniter they're they're super simple to do and even if your igniter is not the glow fly like that one um if it's just the single rod and it's not the the double one that wraps around like that um same concept it's got the uh, the bracket, everything, uh, it might be a little different, but it's still just pretty much one or two screws holds it on, and then you still got to cut that wire, and uh, then wire nut it to to the use that plug, and then wire nut your new one to it. Um, it's going to be that way in in almost every every universal one at least, unless you was to buy one straight from the manufacturer of that furnace. Um, but yeah, it's it's pretty simple. Once you've done one for sure, you could do it the rest of your life. So I hope this video helps some people. Um, learning how to look just learning how to do this or if you're in a tight squeeze uh, in the middle of winter and you can't get no one out and hopefully you know that could help you to do it yourself but anyways uh, hope you all enjoyed and we'll see you uh, next time